all right so my people welcome back onto this channel well onto this one it says boko haram chief executioner who killed 1000 abducted military men and then civilians surrenders to troops in Borno. all right this is another one reaching us right now hmm. this is not funny at all well majority of people on this one are reacting no bitterly onto this according to andy amadi underscore zero four says if this is investigated and then confirmed then he should be taken out in the next 40 minutes and the federal government must not rehabilitate him for any reason <laughs> all right my people this is serious as you can see the man's picture here he says Boko Haram chief executioner who killed 1,000 abducted military men and the civilians surrenders to troops in Borno. Well, the news in details. It was gathered that the terrorist and then his family, including his wife and children, surrendered to the troops of Operation Adinkai in Banki in Burma local government area of Bono State on September 12, 2022. Well, a top member of the dreaded terrorist group, Boko Aram, identified as Bashe Balubuduaye, uh, surrendered to the Nigerian army. Well, according to Zagazola, Makama, a counter-insurgency expert and then security analyst in Lake Chad, West Africa, Balabu Duwaye was Boko Aram's chief executioner who slaughtered all abducted persons condemned by the group. It was gathered that the terrorist and then his family, including wife and children, surrendered to the troops of Operation Adenkai in Banki in Burma local government area of Bono State on September 12, 2022. An intelligence officer told Bakama that Balabudu Waye was known to be an official who carries out a sentence of death on a condemned persons captured military men and then civilians when Abubakar Shekau was a leader of the sect group. The sources said that the former terror campaign had appeared in many grisly footages showing fighters aligned with the Jamaat Hail as Sunnah lead Dawa while Jihad cutting the throats of prisoners and then shooting captives after accusing them of being infidel. The sources said Balabuduwaye and his team of executors had murdered at least 1,000 persons that were captured and then sentenced to death. He said that Balabuduwaye was among the commanders who fled the last year's invasion of the terror group's stronghold in the Sambisa forest area by a column of Islamic State West Africa province Iswap fighters in May 2021, which resulted to the death of its leader, Abubakar Shekau. He broke away after refusing to pledge his allegiance to the Islamic State ISIS to form a camp in Colt village in the Aziz of Banki, which where he was hiding with other fighters, the source said. He surrendered due to the sustained intensified intelligence led airstrikes every artillery bombardment and then group offensives by the Nigerian military troops of Operation Anden Kai. 
it was difficult for him to access food and then other logistics coupled with the flooding which already ravaged most of the settlement. He also fear battlefield elimination by ISWAP being one of those fingered to be eliminated for refusing to pay allegiance said the sources. The theater commander Northeast Operation Adenkai Major General Christopher Musa said over 79,000 insurgents comprising combatants and then non-combatants have so far surrendered. All right, my people, and then this is exactly what we are getting right now. This is not funny at all. Well, I think this can only happen in a country like Nigeria. That, that's why everybody this time around needs to you know, wake up. If this is happening in the West, we know definitely what would have you know, been done to this. And then look at what is going on. Hmm. You will not hear about him later. Maybe by then they might have released him. This is Nigeria. All right. So, and then according to Andy Amadi, said, if this is investigated and confirmed, then he should be taken out in the next 40 minutes. And then the federal government must not rehabilitate him for any reason. Well, because you people like how he's killing Christians, that is why you embrace love, love to him, evil, evil people. Well, I blame the soldiers who accepted his surrender, should have killed him and then his family, and then tell the world that they were killed in an exchange of gunfire. Well, remember, he surrendered not out of remorse, for the atrocities he committed, but because of fear for his life and the safety of his family, government should follow the rule of law and uh, treat him accordingly. Hmm, that's serious. Well, he will soon join APC and then become a card-carrying member or be recruited into the Nigerian force or be rehabilitated. After all, he is not from the south that's serious that's another one we are seeing well he has re repented hmm. he has repented his commander aka mumumado buhari hmm, will award him a medal that is what is happening in the country the next thing you hear is oh he is now a repentant boko haram let's rehabilitate him send him abroad to you know to school after you come you come he comes back then he will now be recruited to the nigerian army those are their words so that they can cause more havoc hmm. my brother my sister the truth is everybody needs to wake up no going back on the urban nation movement and exactly what the people are talking about this set of people who have been saying all this are not joking at all yes so and then they know what they are doing right now this see this same man look at the way he's looking and then somebody had just said the truth that out of you no know, the way this man is coming out to like show himself to surrender himself not out of remorse but it's because he wants to get saved he's scared to be to be killed after he has killed about 1000 people what is going on in this country if it were to be in the you know in the southwest the next thing they will kill him immediately only somebody who killed one person in the in the south was sentenced to you no know, death by hanging now this same person another person who had killed about 1000 you people are still celebrating him and his family simply because he's coming out uh, under the you know fact that he doesn't want to die and yet a lot of people are looking at him don't you know that after this kind of person is being rehabilitated hmm, the next thing he will do was i pray 
for the soul of people around him. This is this is not supposed to be happening at all. What is going on? Yeah, the people have woken up. Yes, some set of people are still there shouting one Nigeria. Okay, I pity them. Well, hmm, the truth is that he has not repented. He is doing that to save his children maybe and his wife but i will advise government to kill him because he will rise to fight again he is still an army he is still an enemy he have killed many so he shall be killed his life is not important than those that he have killed that's serious well surrender for what to continue his killing, this man should have been history by now, as Chicago is. All right, and then that's another one we are getting. The well, majority of things, though, have been said unto this one. My people, what more can we say? Meanwhile, let me have your own take on this, my people, and remember to subscribe for more updates if you are new on this channel. All right, thanks, and God bless.